Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking at this problem here and I'm finding all sorts of issues with it. Like I'm looking at it going, well, this is supposed to be a mathematical equation. Where do you start? What's actually going on here? And it would be very easy to allow yourself to get into a situation where you develop this block. Okay, I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to think about. And that's why I'm suggesting that you need to start going through um, like the four steps of solving a problem, specifically with engineering, so that you can actually take this to an equation that you can actually understand. Okay, so that's the whole idea with this. It's trying to see the problem. Now, I don't care if you're a, 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 a two-unit math student, a one-unit advanced this is hard if you can't see the problem. It doesn't matter how good you are. You need to move away from the idea of pure math and you need to see the problem. That's what engineering is about, seeing the problem and solving it. If you can't see it, then you can't do the math. It doesn't matter how good you are, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so here's Fred's gone fishing. We've got his actual project here. We've got all this information that's occurring like in this section here and we need to turn it into a simple math equation that we can understand. Okay, so then that's what we're going to go through here. So as prescribed, step one is literally stating the knowns. Um, and I've added in there drawing a free body diagram. I want to get away from this fishing rod. I want to start look, seeing this as a math equation. So here I know that the uh, fish itself is actually pulling on the rod at 250 newtons. It says it in the question and I've got it here in my picture. The length of the rod I know is three metres. And I know the distance between the right and the left hand is 750 mil. Okay, so and you can see here I've started to draw the right hand and the left hand. So I'm going to call this one force R and I'm going to call this one here force left. Okay, so I understand what's actually happening. But I'm still looking at this. I haven't seen an equation like this before. And I want to make sure that it's in a format that I can understand. So with this FBD, I, I can actually just turn this around at 90 degrees and I'm going to see more of what I actually am used to seeing rather than having it look at it this in this vertical direction. So moving it to the horizontal, all of a sudden, aha, I'm starting to see things that I've seen before. Again, I have my... Um, I'm going to call this A, okay, and I know that this one is my force in the right, and this is going to be my force in the left hand. I've converted this, instead of having it at 3 metres, the overall length, I've done some math, I've taken away 750 from three. So all of a sudden, I'm starting to see uh, what I need to do. So what needs to be found? I need to find FR. I need to find FL, and that's what I'll be actually getting my answers. Now here I can see that all of a sudden the formulas are starting to speak to me. Right? The first one I can see is that I need to do is moments. So this is the sum of all moments uh, must equal zero. So I'm going to take moments in this. And then the second one that I can, that's, and that's to get, so that will equal um, FR. Now, the second one I can actually see is the sum of all moments. Oop, sorry, that's going to equal FL. What am I talking about? Which will equal FL. And then here, the second one I'm actually looking at going to be doing here is the sum of all forces. Sum of all forces must equal zero. And that is then going to give me my FR. Okay, so now I've, like... Like, like I said, I started off with this fishing rod, started off with Fred going fishing and they're talking to me about fish and all of a sudden my wife's in the background going, why don't you just buy a bloody fish? Like, you know, it's just nuts. I've turned it around into um, knowing, seeing what I know to now being understand what I need to do as a mathematical equation. So look at the next one. Step three, develop a solution. 
Okay, so here we go. I know that I'm using the sum of all moments must equal zero. And here I also know where a moment will equal force by distance. Now, in the case of my free body diagram, um, my free body diagram, I'm actually going to take the moments around A. Take uh, moments around A. Now, for those that have forgotten what the free body diagram looked like, I had this here. I've got the force of 250 newtons going that way. I had oh, that force that way, that force that way. And there is A. I know that this was 750. And then this actually turned into uh, 2250 from that distance there. Okay. All right. So, so the sum of all moments equals zero. Therefore, force uh, left uh, multiplied by 750 equals 250, which is the force of the fish, by 2250. So FL is going to equal 562,500 over uh, 750 which will equal 750 newtons. Now, I didn't, I've done the calculations beforehand, so I can actually see that. Um, so there is my first answer for FL. Now, the, the other equation is the sum of all forces must equal zero for equilibrium. So uh, therefore, we have F, oh, FR must equal zero. So FR will equal FL plus um, 250 newtons, which equals 750 plus 250, which equals 1,000 newtons. Okay, so you can see here again, like this wasn't a really hard equation, but I wouldn't have gotten here to do this without breaking it down first. Okay, of course I did uh, my free body diagram and I found out all my knowns, like knowing um, what, like, you know, that this was FL and this was FR, like I've just broken it down so I can understand it quite clearly. Okay, so again, having that strategy, like knowns, working out what's needed, then working the math to then go to the next step make sure I've actually gotten it right. Okay, so is the math right? Now, firstly, the one thing I'd actually say here with that is that, oh, oh, my pen's just disappeared again. All right, so this one here, show all working. And you can see I did that. I actually showed all of the working there uh, straight up. Okay. Now, the second part is, did I answer the question? Okay, so the first thing here, I'm just starting to write down here, the force in the left hand um, is 750 newtons. The force in the right hand is 1,000 newtons. Oop, jumped ahead, is 1,000 newtons. Now, you can see this isn't in its simplest form. Sometimes the question's actually ask that. So I need to come back down here to make sure that it's right by putting down one kilonewton, okay? So, and again, it's just showing my, my intelligence to make sure that I understand what engineering's about to getting it to that simplest form with the map. I can't stress this enough. If you can't see the problem, you can't do the math. Here are four simple steps that I hope that you can embrace, which will take you from that moment of overall awkward confusion and not knowing how to approach the problem to be able to work through the simple steps in the math. Again, those steps are, firstly, identify the givens. What have you actually been told in the question itself? The second part of the equation is like work out what needs to be found. Work it out. What do I need to do? 
Once you've got that, then you can start looking at developing a solution. Okay? Develop the solution, work it through mathematically to its end. And the final thing, it's really important, reflect on your work and see if it's actually correct. Does it look right? Is the math all there that I can actually go back and prove I've done the right thing? And is it in its simplest thought form? Okay? If you can do that, you'll get through this math quite easily. But like I said, if you don't have a strategy and you're trying to work blind, you're going to come a cropper somewhere.